welcome back to my channel. I am Debbie. Today I am going to be kitting up a gorgeous canvas. I am so excited. You have seen this last week. I will put the description at the bottom as well as a link to this kit and then also underneath the eye I will include the the showing of this when I unboxed it. So today I'm going to be kitting up this lovely girl here. And this is by Laurie Philippon. It is called Rebel Day Request. And if it is incorrect, I am so sorry. Um, they do give you the actual stickers, which is very, very nice. And these, you don't you just pull them off. You don't even have to use scissors. Also with their drills, they come in bags. I don't like to use the bags, so I take these out. They were in order, but I've been um, looking at them, so they're probably not in order now, um, but that's okay. I am going to use Harbor Freights. I usually do not use these, but these are larger, and there's a lot of drills the same color, so I thought I'd go ahead and use two of those. I'm hoping that I didn't get these out of order too bad because the stickers are in order. We'll see, I'm sure I did. I was looking at all of the AVs. I was looking to see how much static was in here. It's really not horribly bad. Um, let me see where this is going. I may need to pull some of these out. I'll do it like this. Hopefully they're in order close enough anyway. I am ready for the static. If I have any, I am prepared. We'll see. So I'm just going to pull some of these out to make it easier. And I was just going to kit up and then off camera, then I thought you might want to see the kitting up. And you also may just want a video where you're able to see what I'm doing. And how I do things. Of course, everybody does everything differently. Let me go like that. So I'm putting the sticker on here. And let's just see how this goes. I do have my DP Gal Creations tray that I'm going to use in case I need it. Let's see how bad the static is. And if what doesn't fit, I'll just keep in these bags. And I have another mesh bag that I use that I put them in there and I'll label them. And that way I'll know what kit it goes to. Since I do have more than one kit that I'm working on. These are such gorgeous colors. This is a deep purple. Isn't that just really pretty? I have not done a square with Orloa yet, and this one squares. And my gal Kim told me that she absolutely loves squares from Orloa. And we like a lot of the same things. So when she said that the squares were just perfect, I thought I am going to the next kit I'm going to get from Orloa will be squares, and that's what this is. And they're so shiny. I cannot wait to work on this kit. So how is everybody today? I hope that you are well and staying warm. My friend Carrie sent me a picture. She lives in New York. And she sent me a picture, and they basically can't get out of their house. The snow is just so high. I don't know how in the world that they get out and go anywhere. I know their, she works from home, but her husband has to get out, and it looks pretty rough. And I told her, I said, I really want some snow. And that's when she sent me the picture. I'm like, nope, I don't want that kind of snow. I want some snow, but I don't want 19 inches of snow. I do have a little static in this bag. Not horribly bad. I'm trying to get it out. It's going to be over here. 
and do it better on my end. I am going to put some bounce sheets, some dryer sheets in here. And they're not bounce sheets. I can them at the dollar store because I'm not going to use my good bounce sheets. All right. I don't want to use my good bounce sheets on this. And we really don't even use bounce or any kind of thing like that. Dryer sheets. We use like the little dryer balls. My husband does not like bounce, even though if you get it even unscented, he says he doesn't like it. He works outside sometimes and says it really makes him itchy. So once I found that out, got a little bit of pink over here, I'm gonna take it out. Once I found that out, then I thought, well, we gotta do something because I do not want my towels to be really hard. I want to be really nice and soft. He doesn't like um, downy. So um, there's something in there downy that bothers him and also it breaks my daughter out. So anyway, we ended up using the little balls and you can even put, if you want it you know, scented, you can even use some essential oils. So that's what we do. Let's see, I need number four. Oh my goodness, look at that pink. All right, guys, where's number four? There it is. You're probably screaming at me. There's number four, it's right in front of you. And yes, it was. I was really hoping I would, oh. See, I have, today I have just dropped everything. It's like, I have slicky fingers or something, just, I don't know. Yep, I'm gonna have to get a dryer sheet because this is awful. All right, let me get my dryer sheets. I've got them right over here next to my table. And I'm also going to get some of that static guard and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. I took a while, just a couple seconds for you guys, but I thought I'd never find my static guard. I do not like aerosols at all. I do not use aerosols in my house unless we just absolutely have to, but this does the trick. I say that and it probably won't, uh, but it helps the static and there it is. And if I can get all but two out of here, oh, they're all coming out. All right, now I've got it. That one out of there. Yeah, I don't like using aerosols, but sometimes you do what you have to do. And I don't use this very often. I only use this static guard on this, and I probably messed up. I probably, I don't know if these are permanent stickers or not, I don't remember. Should have used washi on this. I'll probably never get these off. But that's okay. There, if there's a will, there's a way. I need number seven. All right. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy seeing kidding ups or if you think it's a waste. Because I will I can't decide if I should do kid ups or not. Since I already do a whip and chat. I don't know if you guys are really interested in a kit up, but looking at my numbers, it looks like in, in the comments, it looks like everybody likes it. And of course these don't want to come out. Someone told me to use like the dryer pellets, that they put the dryer pellets in there instead of using the, um, the bounce sheets. And I don't have any of those. I thought I would try it and see. And I asked if it does anything to the drills, does it discolor? And they said no. So I may have to buy some of those next time I go to Walmart, which won't be for a while, I don't think. I hate going there. If you have a Walmart, you will probably understand what I'm talking about, and if you don't, then you may not have a clue. But our Walmart now has gone to almost like 95% to self-check. And that just makes me so mad because 
you have they do have more of the um, area so at least you have more room and you have a little bit on the belt where somebody if you're buying a lot of stuff you know they can put the stuff out there for whoever is ringing it up but you know self-check is I don't mind doing one or two items but if you have a basket full at Walmart and you have to check yourself out it just annoys me to no end because it takes forever and you know, if you have someone there with you that's not so bad but I usually don't so I have things in my basket I get vitamins and things like that there cleaning supplies and I have the stuff in my basket and then you know you don't have you have some room but you don't have a lot of room to put your things there as you're taking it off the conveyor belt and then they watch you there they, there's a camera and they're recording everything that you're doing so in my opinion if they're just sitting there watching you which I don't know if they really are but if they're sitting there and they're watching you then that somebody that's all that they're doing why can't they be checking you out it just bugs me I mean, when I grew up we had self-service pumps and we had full service pumps at the gas station and full service of course cost more because they would fill your tank up and they also would wash your windows so most of the time my family did the self you do it yourself not the full and that just reminds me you know whenever they decided to do away with that and they were doing you had to pump your own gas which people just went crazy over that and I thought that's just the stupidest thing to be to be upset about that you have to do something on your own and then now I'm complaining about the self-check at Walmart and Michaels which is a craft store they're doing that now too it's completely self-check and I don't buy yarn or anything like that but I don't know how you would check something like that out because they have it where they can cut the yarn for you and I guess that they put something they'll put a tag or something on it I have no idea but I'm afraid that if Walmart and Michaels are going to that and I know that Target is too eventually what are grocery stores going to do how bad would that be if you have to go to the grocery store and you have to do your own groceries and again if I have one or two things or just a handful I will go I will do self-check I taught my daughter how to do self-check so she knows and she'll help me if she goes with me but I am I just can't imagine doing a whole basket we go to the store like every week or every you know, week and a half or so and I have to get full groceries so I guess if that comes to fruition then I will probably just order my groceries and then go and get the few things that I don't like other people There's some pink in there it's okay. I'll get that out later I don't like some things that they do for instance when I go and I get milk and we get like four gallons a week and it's just three of us it's kind of embarrassing I don't really drink a lot of milk but my husband and daughter do especially my daughter she drinks a lot of milk but there's 12 I got there it is it's still in the bag so I've gone before ordered you know groceries had them bring it out but when I go and I get milk I look at the date I want to get the latest date that I can and if it's only one or two days before it expires then no I'm not going to buy that and whenever I if I go and pick up groceries they don't look at dates and stuff they just get whatever so I may have to start ordering my groceries and then going in and picking out my vegetables that I usually get at the store we get our meat somewhere else and do it like that and get milk because I just don't like how they do that I like picking out my own produce I'm kind of funny about that kind of stuff 
but I just can't imagine having to go and do your groceries. Now, if they have it where it's simplified, it wouldn't be so bad if you have room, but they don't give you any room. And if you have a basket full of groceries, it's like, what is the point? And then they're going to have to come on certain things. If you buy you know, alcohol and even some over the counter medications, they want to see your ID or they want to know what your birthday is. They can put it in the computer. So I guess they'd have to check all of that. And I feel weird when I see the camera. I don't like somebody staring at me. And I don't know if somebody's actually staring at me or not. But the last time I went to Michael's and bought just a couple of things that I needed for a card that I was missing something that I needed to go pick up and I had to do that. I sat there and waved. My daughter was rather embarrassed, but I sat and I waved. I'm like, hello. I even said hello. I'm like, I'm, I don't know if anybody's there, but they're staring at me. So I stared back at the camera and said hello and waved. They probably thought I had lost my mind. But it's just, to me, it's just very irritating. That's just my gripe for today. I mean, is it like that where you are? Where everyone is starting to go to the self-checks? I just think it's awful. Maybe it's my age. I don't know. Um, but I, even if I were younger, I think this would just really bug me. Because it bugs my oldest daughter, and she's only 24. And she works at a grocery store. And she's um, head of produce. And she said that they are, with the store that she works in, it's a really nice upscale store. And she said they're starting to do that. They're having less and less um, re registers open. And they are starting to have more and more people check out. So I guess I need to start preparing for that. This one, I couldn't get everything in. I'd probably force it, but I'm not going to. Since it's in a bag, I will just leave it and put it in. I have a really nice bag that I bought from Amazon, and I put that in those little bags. I've got some stray, some stray drills here. I put those in a bag, and then I will label it that it is this kit and I am good to go. Here is number 16. I am really surprised that Oraloa has static, but I guess they all do right now. I hope when the weather changes and it gets warmer, then it doesn't have static. And I have quite a bit of containers I may kit up as much as I can and put them up in my craft room. And so that way I won't have as much static if in the summer the static goes away. So we'll see how that works. Or if it's just something we're going to have to live with. Just like having to live with going to the store and checking yourself out. And I can do it. I'm not saying that I'm too good for that or anything by any means. I know how to do it. I'm not so old that I don't know how to use the register. It's not that difficult, but it just bugs me. And it's also taking away jobs from people that have done this for years and years. I mean, what are they doing if you're going to have to get rid of them? So they're losing their jobs and we're having to do their jobs and something else that bugs me is that Pete and I told my daughter this and she definitely agreed there's 18 that when something like this if we have to go through and do all of this ourselves it's kind of funny because people that were working on the register they were trained they had the of course, there's not much that we do that we have to do when we're checking ourselves out, but it just seems kind of weird. They train them to expect us to just get on the register and start doing whatever. Here's 21, 22. I need number 
18. I thought these were in order. There's 19. I'm sure you're screaming at me. There's 18. Okay, I'm not sure. Oh, there's 18. Oh, look how pretty. Look at this pink. This is almost like my craft room. So my, my craft room is not that pink, but it is close to it. I love pink. And my, my youngest daughter absolutely adores pink. That is her favorite color. It has been her favorite color since she knew what colors were. And my oldest, her favorite color has always been purple. I didn't put enough starch. I think it's gosh, going to dry out. This wouldn't take half as long if this, these drills didn't have static. I even opened the drills for a little while and I thought maybe if I just open them, let them air out, it'll be okay. And some are better than others. But I am really shocked that Oraloa has, they have static. It blows me away. I don't want to lose any of these pinks. If I lose a couple of drills, I'm okay. But I don't want to lose the pink ones. I'm going to put, after I finish all of this, I'm going to put bounce sheets in each one of these containers and let them sit there because I'm not going to immediately start on this, but I am going to start on it soon. So that way, maybe when I go to work on this gorgeous kit, that it won't have any static in here. We shall see. And I am an affiliate with Orloa. I did pay for this. I did not get this from Orloa. But if you would like something from Orloa, and they've just come out with um, some new kits. And there's a couple I'm dying to have. They've just come out with some new kits. And you can get a 15% discount if you use my code, which is at the bottom. There's a link and a code down here. It is not, I don't expect anybody to do it, but if you want to, and you want to save about, I think it's 15%, then you can use that code, and I would greatly appreciate it. Again, it is never expected. But I want you to save money, too. I think that... And if you don't use my code, find somebody else's. There's codes out there for just about everything. And that way you can save a little bit of money. All these colors are so pretty together. All right, number 20. Now I'm back over here again. There's 21. I should not have opened these, but I did it on my channel. And now they're all out of order. There's 25. We gotta move it over here. There's number 20. There it is. On the bottom. Of course, it's one of the last ones that I pick up. That always happens. I'm gonna have this one as part of my work in progress. Who knows when I'll ever finish anything with all these whips that I'm starting on. The thing is, I used to really cringe. I would say, nope, I cannot start on anything, even if I want to, because I'm working on another kit. And now it's like, you know what? If I want to work on it, I'm going to do it. And if I don't finish anything, I don't finish it. I'm not going to try to rush to finish and I was thinking maybe I should because of my channel that I need to have a, you know, several finishes, but that's not me. And I want to be real and I want to be authentic and that's me. And I read something today on Instagram. I'm on Instagram, I think way too much, but there was another person on Instagram and that said that she was an Aries and she said part of being an Aries is that 
we tend to start something, but we don't tend to finish. And I really don't keep up with the astrology. I don't know. I'm Aries. I don't really know much about my, you know, I don't know much about astrology. And all I know is that, yes, I'm an Aries. And, you know, that's about it. But she put that out there and she said that she had a lot of whips going. I think it was like seven or eight. And that she's an Aries and she's going to blame it on that. And then she started mentioning that, you know, with Aries, we tend to start something, but we tend to not finish. And I thought, wow, that is me. I tend to start something and then I tend not to finish. I've got some scrapbooks that have been sitting there unfinished for a long time. And I thought, you know, that is me. So that's kind of cool. But I have been finishing. I finished Diana in March. I think that was a huge accomplishment. Put this over here. I don't know if that may make it, may make it too tight in this time. That goes down here. I haven't used these very much. I'm uh, not real crazy about them. But they do hold a lot. That was my main concern. Because this one, it's another large one. The peg. Okay. I could always have another one of these and put my extras in there instead of leaving them out. But I decided, no, I don't want to have three. Two is bad enough to have. I don't want to have three cases out. This over here is going faster. Number 22. Especially with me just babbling. I'm not even sure. I'm sure you're probably saying, gosh, she's crazy. Five. No, it's going to be eight. Uh, six, eight. Nine, ten, nine. I'm trying to get as many in here as I can. Twelve. Now, I do keep these in order. I will probably change this once I get started. I tend to go faster not in DMC order, but I tend to go faster with having it like, you know, ABCs and one, two, three, but sometimes I just leave it. Once I get used to where all of the symbols are, I just kind of leave it and just go with, with it in DMC order. I bet this is, it doesn't say. Is this 310? No. No, it's brown. It's not a, it's a deep brown. It's not black. I tell you, I used to love to kit up. And I may end up starting to use bags. Because this is annoying as you know what. Let's see if I can get this over here better. Very annoying, and I have drills everywhere. I do not like having drills on my table like this. 22, 23, I'm going to have to clean up in a minute. I cannot stand clutter. It drives me crazy. And these, I have drills everywhere. That is the bad thing about static. Drills just go flying. And I used to be really worried about it. But now it's like, okay, I can't do anything about it. It would take forever if I tried to make sure that you know, each one goes in the proper place. If I run out, then it's my own fault. I don't think I will. I, don't, I haven't lost that many. One or two of each color. So I can get 24 out. That's not horribly bad. Just all right, look how pretty that is. I just, that's one thing I do like about these. You can see all the pretty colors, and that is absolutely gorgeous. If you look on the back, you can see how pretty and how staticky that they are. They will shortly have some balance sheets, and they will not be staticky. All right. 
see what we can do now. 25. Okay, let's see. I'm on 25. In the summer, if the static is really bad, I guess it's just something we are going to have to learn to live with. And I can understand, I mean, this came from Canada. So I can understand, you know, it traveled a long way. And the weather has been just absolutely horrible. So I'm contributing this to the weather. And hopefully that is the case. It's my off bit in here. These drills look so good. I could, I am so pleased at how these drills look. That is just gorgeous. So far, I haven't seen any bad drills. Now, there's going to be some, but I don't see any tabs or anything. I think it's fabulous. We're halfway there. This may not end up getting all recorded if it's going to be too long. 25. I need 26. There's 28, 29. That's nice. Okay, those are all in order. There's 27. I need 26. There we go. 26. Yay! I found it. We were going to have a book club at work. And we ended up not doing it. I was kind of disappointed because well, that would be a lot of fun. Get to know more people that work at different campuses than I do. They just kind of died down. And it would be nice because then I would know what to read. I never know. I've got several books. I'm in a book club and book of the month. I really do enjoy book of the month. I wasn't sure if I would, but I do. I, and then I have a hard time. I don't know what I want to read. I get on my Kindle and then I guess it, I need to also have a reading list. I do better with, with lists. And I wonder if that's like an airy straight too. I'm going to have to look that up. See if this is really true. I'm really curious now. But I love to read. I get to read at work if I'm not busy. Which makes it super nice. And Laura, Diamond Paintings by Laura, she um, read a lot of books in February. And so I'm going to go back and listen to hers again and write some of those down. Because it sounds like we like the same type of books. Or I may just contact her and see if she has a list that she could give me. And if you guys have any recommendations for a good book, let me know. I may need to spray again. I think the bags are worse. These baggies, I think they are worse with static than the other ones. They really do. The ones I can't get out, I'm tearing and getting them out that way. I have drills everywhere. I don't like that. I thought my last kit was really bad to kit up with all the static, but I think this one may have that one beat. It's pretty bad. I mean, surely there's something that the manufacturer can do before these are shipped on the static issues. 
I'm just not so sure that it's the weather. I mean, it may be. I don't remember having this problem in the summer. All of a sudden, I started having problems with any kit. And my Diamond Pain Deutschland was bad, too. And I was shocked at that. I did not think that that one would have static. And, oh, it was very static. -y. And that was 220 colors I had to deal with on static. But it wasn't too bad. Not all of them had static. But this one, pretty much all of them, has static. Let me see if I have a few more. I am going to be so busy the rest of the month. I hope that I'm able to get all my videos out. I like to have four to five videos a week. And... It's going to be tough. Not the videos, but the things that I have to do. It's all for work. And I've just got to remember. That's a, oh, that's a lowercase a. Great. I just have to remember what all I have to do. I have it all in my date planner, which is a good thing. Just 31. Which is, oh, that's a big one, too. So, hopefully... I will do everything I need to do. We have several campuses, the university where I work, and some are close by and some aren't. Luckily, the one that is what they call my home base, that one is about 15 minutes from my house. So that's a good thing. But there's one that I have to go to in April that's an hour and a half away. So I'll have to drive to that one. If I want to, they have state cars. We're a state university. They have state um, vehicles that you can loan or loan to you. I hate doing that. I'd rather have my own. I'd rather just drive my car. I don't care. Use my gas. I feel more comfortable in my car. My car has GPS, which you know, the new cars do, and the state cars do not. It's just a plain Jane car. It's very slow. Trying to get up to speed is just awful. It's kind of funny. And they're kind of ugly. Not that it matters what your car looks like, but... I will have to drive to down, close to downtown Atlanta. I hate downtown. I hate driving down there. Absolutely hate it. It is always traffic. There's so many one-way streets, and I just absolutely hate driving downtown. And then sometimes, like, my GPS will tell me to turn left. Well, you can't because that's a one-way street. So my husband used to work downtown, and he knows all the back ways and different things. So I'm, for, I'm always calling him if I have to go downtown. You know, what do I do? And so I have him... He is on Bluetooth, and I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. I just I hate going down there. And people drive like they're just crazy. Absolutely crazy. And he just thinks it's funny. He doesn't mind driving downtown at all because he's used to it. He had to drive a bucket truck downtown. I'm sure everybody's downtown's about the same. It's just, oh, I just hate it. And on top of that, I'm going to have to drive a state car because I have to have a student in my car for that one. And I can't have a student in my personal car. I would not want to. I'm not real crazy about driving with a student in my car if something happens. But that's why I have to drive the state car. If something were to happen, then it would go back onto them, not me. But it's very uncomfortable, and it's an entire weekend. I've not done this before, so I'm a little nervous about this conference we're going to. I'm a major introvert. 
which is really funny because I'm a teacher. Most teachers are not introverts that I know of, but I am. When I first had to get up and start doing my, tra my training, when I had to get up in front of the class and do a lecture, man, that was tough the first time. I never used a projector. I didn't know what I was doing. I was trained on that, thank goodness, but I was real nervous at first. And now, if it's students and it is on accounting or what the you know, school does, you know, different things, then that's easy. I can do that. I can talk to people. I do that all the time when we have open houses and different things. I talk to students, you know, no problem at all. You would think, just looking at me in my classroom, that I am the biggest extrovert ever, but that is totally not true. I took forever to decide if I was going to do a YouTube channel because I thought, I don't know if I can talk like that. I don't know if I'm good enough. I thought about it for two years, guys, two years. And I thought, I just don't know. I don't know if I'll have anything to say. I don't know if I'll have any subscribers. And here I am and been doing it for a year. So I am very pleased with myself, honestly. And to have so many wonderful subscribers, it just blows me away. Absolutely blows me away. But to just do small talk in a group setting, Oh my gosh, I'm absolutely horrible. And then people probably think that I'm, you know, stuck up because I don't talk very much, but I'm not one of those that can just start talking to strangers. I don't know what to say. And my husband is so good at it. So when we're together, he starts a conversation. And once he starts it, then, you know, I'm okay. But just to start a conversation, I just don't even know what to say or do. And I just feel uncomfortable. And this is going to be a big thing. A lot of socializing for two full days. And I think in a way it'll be fun. Um, we're staying in the hotel, so I don't have to drive back and forth. That is going to be good. I'm not sharing a hotel room with my students. She has her room. I have mine. And my university pays for it. So... I am thankful for all of that, and they chose me to do this out of all the other instructors that teach business. So, you know, that should mean something, but me and I am really nervous about the small talk stuff. We have a dance. It doesn't start until 9 o'clock. I don't know if I'll be able to do that part. Um, I may go just to say hi, but I know I'm not staying very long. And then Saturday night... We have this really big banquet. I mean, it's a big blowout thing where you have to wear formal attire. And I, I don't know about that. I'm worried about that part. Really, really worried about the banquet. I've lost a lot of weight. None of my clothes really fit me that great. I bought a few outfits because I may lose some more. I don't really need to lose any more. I'm kind of worried. About that. I was glad I lost some, and now it's like, okay, I don't want to lose any more, but I keep losing. So I've got to figure out what I'm going to wear, you know, that kind of thing. And this, the banquet is a really big deal to be able to go to this banquet, so I've got to be prepared for it. You know, all dolled up, the makeup, and all that stuff. And if my husband was going, I would feel a lot better. I really would, but. No, it's just for us. It's not, you can't bring, you can't bring a date. So I'll just be me. But I keep telling myself, I can do this. I can do this. So I've been, I've done things the past two years I didn't think I would ever do. Not bad things, good things. So I'm hoping that this, Banquet's going to be a good thing, too. And it's just for two days. And I am going to take my diamond paintings. And when I am not in conference, that's what I'm going to do. 
just sits in diamond paint. I'll probably take my paint gems because they're small. I can put them, just put those in my bag. I'm not taking anything large. I don't have time anyway. We have, we're going for competitions, business competitions. And so I have to go and help my student. She is competing. I'm so proud of her for stepping up to compete. She's not competing in accounting. She's competing in management. But my background's management too. So I am her mentor. And she's the one. I can't go in there when she's doing her competition. I will have to sit outside the door. I'll be so nervous for her. She'll probably be fine. It'll be me that's going to be a nervous wreck. But I want her to do really well, and I hope that you know she kind of if she comes in first or second, maybe even third on this one, then she gets to go to nationals, and that's going to be really exciting. And then I have to judge in four different competitions. I've got accounting, which is going to be huge. It's a case study. So I'll be judging that, and then I'm also judging management. It's not the one that she's doing, because I can't do the same thing that she does. I wouldn't want to. That would be, that would be very awkward. But I am getting ready for that. That's going to be nerve-wracking for me, too, to judge. I mean, I'm just not used to this stuff. I'm used to being at home and doing online classes. And I was doing online classes for 15 years, but I didn't have a full-time job. And then I did get one. It lasted two years, and it was so much work. And the, it was, the owner was really demanding. And I was working 60, 70 hours, and still it wasn't enough for them. So they didn't want to hire anybody. It was awful. So I was there for two years. It was a startup school. And then I left there and I just went ahead and went back to doing my part-time schools, which that was really more than a full-time job. And it actually paid more to kind of be on your own, just to work part-time for several schools, which I did. And then I was offered a full-time job where I am now, and I had been with them for 11 years part-time. And everything that I did was just on my own. It was all online, it was at my house. Now I have to go on campus, and I've done this for almost two years. It'll be two years in May, but I haven't done anything like this, having to you know, go and do all these extra things. We're just now getting into that. And somehow I got recruited. And I don't know if this is Aries. I have to look, I'm really gonna have to look this up. But I have a hard, hard time saying no. No, I'm not gonna do this. No, I don't have the time. I'm already overloaded. But no, I don't do that. That is not what I do. I'll just say, yeah, okay, that sounds good. And then as soon as somebody leaves, I'm like, what did I just sign up for? What have I done? And that's exactly what I did with this organization. But it was my boss that asked me. She didn't know much about it. I didn't know much about it. I looked the information up, found more on it. So I'm like, I don't know if I can do this. But I did. I'm going to. So I will have to tell you guys how that went. I have drills everywhere. Oh my gosh. Oh well. If you want to see a hot mess, just come and look at my videos because I don't edit all of this out. I probably should because I have so many drills everywhere. But this is me. This is life. And I don't want it to look like it's perfect because... If you kit up, you're going to have this problem too, I'm sure. And so I want to show you how things really are. I watch a lot of videos. I'm on number 443. All right. 
Where's 43? There's 49, 46. I have two 49s. These are really pretty. They are ABs. I'm going to put one bag over there because I know that's not going to all fit. 46. Here is a 37. Am I missing drills? Hope not. Okay, let me see what I've got here. I'm going to move this out of the way. Let's see, I have 44. I do not see. Oh, there's 44 there. That's 49. I do not see 44. This may be 44. Is this 44? This is 44. 38. Oh, that scared me. 38. No, this is. Let me see. 38, 58. Nope, that is not it. Where is 44? 47. 46. 45, 48, why is this 37, this must be it, do I have two 37s, 44 is a dark color, oh that's two bags of 37, that scared me, alright I don't have 44, yes I do, this is 44, this one is 44, okay, why does it say two? I already had a bag of two. Oh my gosh, wait just a minute. There is, oh man. Um, why does this say two? Make sure I don't put this in the wrong place. Okay, this is 44, okay. I do have two. I have, this one said two, but it also is 38.58, so this goes there. My goodness. I'm sure I mess up. But I just, what I was saying, so I think that's what I was saying, I'm just kind of rattling on, is when I go and watch a lot of cards, card videos, and I'm looking at them and they're absolutely perfect. They align everything perfectly. There's not any issues whatsoever, nothing. And they don't have problems with their glue. Everything is just top notch. And I'm like, how in the world do they do that? Because when I make cards, I have supplies, you know, lined up, I have supplies everywhere. It takes me forever. And I don't know if they just practice, you know, several times before they decide to do their video or if they do a lot of editing, but I'm not gonna do a lot of editing on this because this is me. This is me making a mess. This is what I do. I have drills everywhere and I'm okay with it. But that is just like my type. That's how I am. I don't care if something is completely straight. I mean, I want it to look good, but I'm not one of those that's going to sit and nitpick everything. I have a friend and I love her to death. She lives in Tennessee. And I tell her this all the time and she just laughs at me that everything has to be a perfect way. All of her canned goods are in alignment. And if something is out, she knows. I mean, just any little thing, her candles, everything has to be just absolutely perfect. And I go to her house, I'm kind of nervous, I'm, I'm scared to do anything. And she just laughs and she says, you know, that's how I am. And then she comes to my house and she's okay with it. Where's, why did I put 44 there? That's why I have done something. What have I done? 42, where's 43? Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. I am, I am losing it today. I really am. Sorry. All right. Now I'm on 45. Good night. I'm telling you, I'm a hot mess today. I don't know why. Every time I pick something up, I would drop it. I'm scared to pick up my cat. So I don't want to drop her.
and it's a pretty day. It's not like it's a nasty day. It's just really cold. Cold and windy. No snow here. I want snow so bad. My husband told me that I shouldn't wish for something because if I wish for it, it might happen and it might be really bad. And we do not need anything bad. All right, I'm on track now. Whew. These are all ABs. And I didn't mention, you may have seen, but on the sticker sheet, it does have the DMC code on it. So I do save my drills, and so it's so nice to have a DMC on there. And it's extremely nice to have stickers. I think more and more companies are going to stickers, which is really nice, especially the ones you don't have to cut, you don't have anything to worry about on that end. Okay, 42. All right. This goes on there. I mean, it didn't look right. That is this one. This one. Okay, I'm good now. Ugh. This one is. I need to get number 47. I need number 48. Okay, 48. There's 48. That's a big one, too. I don't know. If this is going to fit. Here. This doesn't have that much tag. That is good. Very, very good. Here is, I don't have a 45 sticker. Is it already on here? Yes. Okay. Now. I guess this doesn't have, this one's not going to have a number because it's going to, it's there if you want to use it, but you don't have to. I am going to. That's up in the top. I'm hoping to get all these in here. I don't want to lose any AVs. These are so pretty and shiny. I cannot wait to start working on her. All right. Put this in order. This is number 49. These are so pretty. Number 49. These aren't going to all fit in here. That is okay. Got one more. That is number 50. That's this one. And I do not have a container. Alrighty, we're on the last one. Seems like a major challenge. Major challenge. We're almost done. Even though I have static and, you know, it's a pain and you know what, I still enjoy kidding up. I don't know if that's, I, I like to be organized. I love to see the colors. I just think it's fun. It's fun to kit up, even though it's a hot mess right now. But it will be worth it because I cannot wait to start on her. We'll definitely see this one before the end of the month. 
There's finally 50. Now this one, I am not gonna put in a container. Whenever I decide to use it, I will just take this one out of the baggie and I can put the baggie there and close this and it'll still be fine. So I think that is what I'm going to do. But look how pretty. I just, that's one thing I do like about the Harbor Freight is that you can see all the colors. They hold a lot. Let's move the static guard. They hold a lot and they're very, very pretty. Thanks so much. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. And if you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you don't mind hitting that like button before you leave, I would really, really appreciate it. Take care and until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.